back to High Button Sports here as we get set for our fourth and final game of the day. We're set to go here, and it is Acadia versus Annie Ganesh. A battle is all this time. And it's taking place here at the Provincials of the Youth 13 AAA. Finals here going on in the last one of the day. So two teams that suffered tough losses yesterday. Andy Ganesh uh, almost pulling off a victory against Dartmouth. They had a fantastic game. Couldn't get it done, but that worked in front of Katie with the save. Played really good, but wasn't able to get the victory. Looking for some redemption here today. And Valley haven't played in a while. They played early yesterday, and now they're back at it here late today. We're set to go, run off on the boards there. McQuarrie now chipped out in front. Picked up there by Vandewell. Up and ahead, looking for a break there. Maybe held up a little bit through the zone. They're not gonna get it. That was Francis McDonald now shot across by Pearl. Picked up to the zone, into the offensive end. Shot on, that one steered off into the corner. Now trying for a sharp angle shot. Over to Dwyer. Dwyer tries to feed that up the wall. It's cut off. In the skates now, back to center. Chipped by Pearl. Try to bring it in once again. In on the wall and a lead pass. And it could be a two on one the other way here. Jones. Jones flips that around, still onto the stick, shot it low, that one tipped wide on the left side. Jones gonna chase that back in. Good little, jo good job there by Jones as he recognized that that defense is changing and they are able to create the odd man rush, not able to finish it off, but good heads up play. That one wrapped around the other side. Trying to pinch off on the boys, there's Hanley, but it'll be sent in behind. Back down again into the opposite end, and we'll have a whistle here. 2.56 to go in the first. Still coming down off the high there of the last game, in which saw Victor County suffer their first loss of the year at the hands of Tassin. An absolute barn burner right down into the last millisecond. This place was rocking. And now we get to do a hometown Andy Ganesh game. So good back-to-back -back here for us on High Button Sports for the action here. Like I said, Acadia versus Andy Ganesh. Two towns with big universities here in Nova Scotia. Similar but very different in that sense. Friends who have went to both had great experiences. Hanley now passed on the left side. Shot scores! And they fire that one home. And a tough shot that gets by and Andy Ganesh now dealing from a deficit here early. Back to the bench, and that'll be Kerrigan. Kerrigan finished at home. And I got to point out here, Tatum Innes, number 30 there in net for Acadia, is an 11-year-old. So an 11-year-old playing in the U13 Provincials, almost unheard of. As Andy Guinness tried to bring that in, picked up on the wall, they'll try to down McQuarrie. Back kicked in through the middle, skated after Vandewell. Punched back in the other side. That one's going to be hustled back for her. Picked up nicely by Ringette. Going for the toe drag around, they get past on the wall, but now it's picked up down low. Tried to jam it through the corner, now it's low there on the right post. Coming back through the middle, trying to spin that around Francis McDonald. He'll get pressured. Fleming out there, the captain. Back into the zone, that spun around. Grabbed and hustled out of the zone there. Left side, nice little toe drag around and Eventually caught it to Mark Stewart. Stewart had a good game there yesterday. Brought in, knocked off. That'll be punched back in behind. Picked up by Breen. Almost sent the other way. Pushed off into the corner. Jones back in, catches a skate. Now pulled in, handed off, McDonald. Alex McDonald to his D partner now. Jumped up through the zone. Back on, pushing the rush now. Murray. Murray hit in along the boards. Arm doesn't go up. He'll 
have to deal with that one as he's skating back the other way and it could be a rush in and a note that it's an offside so a little bit ahead of themselves on that one and we'll have another whistle here 10 41 to go here in the first and i'll tell you something those red on blue name bars aren't doing me any favors up here in the booth Pushed forward off the right side. That one stopped. Tried to dish across into the fingers. Shot on a low one there, and that one just off the end of the stick on the right side. Picked up now down low. Andy Ganesh. Giving some good fight back here after that last goal. And along the half wall, try to chip that down. It's plucked over to the air and punched down. And the thing Andy Ganesh did best yesterday, to get into it here, is the offensive prowess of holding that blue line. I told anyone I could today when I was talking about this Andy Ganesh game, got a few questions about it and everything, being the hometown team. And I was extremely impressed with how they were able to hold that and keep the offense going. It's not always easy to do that. Holding that line, especially at this level, and they did a fantastic job. So we'll see if they're able to kind of translate that in today. Obviously, it was a heartbreaker yesterday. Now in ahead, down the right side. Now handed off in front and tipped off the end of the stick. Try to get that back under the right hand there, and it'll be skated down the ice, gaining center. It's shot down nicely into the corner by De Young. Worked around the other side. Valley with the lead pass. That's going to split the defenders. Hustled back for it. And Chisholm can't catch up to it, and he'll take the icing, I'm sure. It'll be sent back the other way. And we're just over five minutes into this game. So, one nothing to score off an early goal on the shot, I believe, by Kerrigan. And since then, like yesterday, Andy Kiddish fought from behind, but played with some tenacity. Curious to see if that will continue into today. Looking for a big win here. That one down off the end boards. Picked up by the captain Fleming. Fleming works it over to the left side. That one now back into the neutral zone. Skated back for a cutback play. Mark Stewart. Stewart stopped. Stick handling. Handed off right side. Sinclair is going to have to try to catch up to it. Into the corner. He has it covered nicely and forcing the turnover there is Boyle. Now kind of shaking a man off there in the corner. Fleming. Back on, tied up along the half wall, trying to poke it through. It'll cut back into the zone. Hustled after McMullen, trying to get it out. The Bulldogs sent down the right side. Valley keeping it in, try to chip it front on the stick. In the feet now, poked back, and Valley getting some return fire here now. Up on the half wall, keeping it in. Green, Green hands it off down low, receives that pass again. He'll pull off to the left side. Looking for the open defender in front. That one covered nicely by number seven, Jones. So the two sevens breaking up the play. And now in ahead. And Andy Ganesh cut off as they try to enter. Handed off left side. That one's dropped back. Sent in the opposite way. And that'll be whistled down here. 7.52 left to go here in the first. We'll head into the other end. Moving along here. A pretty good start to this game in terms of pace. Valley got the one goal, but back and forth pretty even, and no one really giving too much in terms of a lot of offensive zone pressure or time. That one cut back, trying to steer in front. It rides up the shaft of the stick there and down on the ice. Tied up McDonald. Back on down, trying to spin that around. McDonald. Gets to it. He'll shoot that into the corner, try to skate after it. Now a lead past it. Oh, that one through. Almost had it. Valley now the other way. Step in, shot blocked. Backing around and stopping it along the ice. That puck sent into the left side now, trying to chip it up the right. Drop back pass there. Valley now getting some sustained pressure. Andy Ganesh pulling it out now. Down the left side. 
Sam Murray. Keeps that on, it'll cover it up. Sandy and Andy Murray, the two, Sam and Andy Murray, the two twins out there on the Andy Guinness shot. And I do believe that Mombriquette is also 11. If that's the case, then pretty crazy here and really impressive for these young goalies. I mean, I feel like from what I've seen this year doing the Bedford regular season games and this Provincials that the hardest position to play in this league is a goalie just because of the different skill levels and everything you could possibly see. So respect to any of those goalies out there. We're playing, I mean, it's never easy to play AAA goaltending when you're going against all the different styles and these guys have clearly lived up to it and have pushed their teams into the provincials here. That one tripped in down the left side, skated after Wilson. Wilson gets that along the board, he's going to shoot that around the half wall, picked up, tried to play it down, picked up along the wall, a stick lift there, now covered off. They go down into a tussle. Played in towards the middle. Trying to find the perfect word there. That one out ahead. Adam Ganesh, last second chance. Trying to put it through the five hole. It stopped. Acadia has had a great year this year. One of the top teams in the league all the way through. Tough day yesterday. First day at Provincials. Looking for some redemption here. Back in, circling around, a low shot, and a nice pad save there in net by Innes. Spun back around, and that'll be past the captain there of the Andy Ganesh side, Lucas Chisholm, and it'll head back the other way. So, 5.37 to go in the first, and honestly, one of the cleanest starts to a game. And I kind of forgot to, kind of forgot, but sure a goal will score in the first five minutes. We've seen that all tournament long, kind of been a running thing here for the Provincials. Our first four games had an early one yesterday and the first two today. And I believe the last game did and this one did, so the early goals are kind of a, st a staple here at the Provincials this year. Takes teams a little bit to settle in right now. It's settled in, but like I said, in terms of flow of a first period, this one's been pretty clean. That one off the left boards. That one's gonna come over there to Jones on the right side. Spun back around. She's back, Fleming. Fleming picks it up. The captain there. Back towards the middle. Tip by, and now it'll be a foot race back the other way. James Boyle trying to cut him off for Andy Ganesh, and Boyle makes the good play there on Breen. Breen. One of the top players on the Acadia side, beaten by Boyle on the back check. Down the right side, trying to feed in front. Valley stepping out, knocked off. Wrapping around those boards now. Mullen gets the clear force, tries to play it over. It bounces off the half wall there, looking for the spin around over to Sinclair. Sinclair lead pass. Into the zone now. And down in the corner. They spin that back around, grabbed on the half wall. Andy Guinness regains possession in their own end. Cutting it down the left side. Trying to ship it by there. It was Brown. Brown gets it down low. Sent back in front. Left side, skated down. Looking for the open room shot, and that one catches the post. Tried to go five hole, could have got, almost, I think he did get it through, but covered off nicely, didn't have the angle now on the right side. That one through into the offensive end. Try to hand off to the middle. Valley there for it first, now spun back the other way. It's gonna be a two on three for Valley. A friendly change there for number 11, Francis McDonald getting on to help his defense out. Pretty much stuffing any offense in the process. Over Francis, shot. That one. Back over, Francis McDonald, left side, he's been all over it this shift, I suppose. Down there in the corner, and now they're kind of getting into it. The last game we saw was the only game that I would deem here at the High Button Studios as um, rough, rough or chippy all weekend. It's been a pretty clean time, a little bit there in the corner, but nothing so far in this game as we got 3.25 to go here in the first. in there. 
Sent back to the line. Shot into the corner. They're going to pull back. They get spun out. In along the end wall. Now getting tied up there in the corner. Spun back down, left side, try to chip out. Picked up in behind. On the boards there, trying to get up the left side. That one's going to come back to the blue. Wind up shot and jumping into that one. A beautiful block by Kerrigan. I don't know if I've seen that yet this tournament. That was a leap. Got right in front of it too, perfectly blocked. And then he gets it able to clear it out. Never know what you're going to see here, I suppose. Chisholm there up the right side, a perfect stretch pass. Beautiful work by Chisholm, trying to deke it there to the front of the net. As Dwyer couldn't get a hold of it. Now Sinclair tries to work it out for the Valley. That one bounces off some sticks. Here in front, battled for. Left side, played across. That one riding up into the shoulder pad. Free puck there in the middle. Two minutes to go here in the first. Drop back, passed up the right side now. Chipped by. Hustled into the zone. Valley able to work that back. And around, trying to clear the zone. It's sent back down and some good coverage there. Backhanded around. Still even here in the first period. I mean, the Valley with the 1-0 lead, but in terms of play, it's been pretty down the middle. Chances up both ends. A lot of neutral zone battling. 90 seconds left to go here in our first frame. Lead pass, touches the stick, back towards the middle. Sent back in. Into the zone they come. Sent down, whistled. 121 to go in the first. And we have a stoppage in play. So like I said, pretty even here in the first period. Tail of the tape so far. Quick early goal for Valley. Andy Ganesh getting a few chances, no real Five alarm chances, as I like to say. I'm sure if anyone's heard me commentate a few games, you've heard the grade A and the five alarm references. Just kind of a way to track the intensity and the toughness of shots. And and say not really on either side many of this period. Just kind of back and forth here in the neutral zone. We approach the final minute. Dive out play there. Keep it alive. Trying to push that puck north. Sent back into the corner. Down here on the right side. Plucked in behind. That one's freed out. Again, close game here so far. Down there, 52 seconds to go. Valley stop up play. Kate, uh, Andy Ganesh kind of bunched up in front of their net there. Over to the right side. Flicked on down now. Trying to head north. Straight line skating here. Down the right side. And nicely done. Tried to chip in front. That puck just in behind. Oh, been a tough one to pull off. Good attempt, but couldn't really get it there on that silver platter they talk about. Back there in the zone, 20 seconds to go in the first. We're only going to have a 30-second break in between the first and second, and then we'll have a 10-minute break between the second and third. Try to bounce that off the boards. 10 seconds to go here in this one. One last rush for the Bulldogs down the right side. Picking up speed. Vandewell tries to dish that across. Maybe trying to force a few passes here the Andy Ganesh side. I think you've got to test out this goaltender. But that'll be the end of one. So one nothing to score. Pretty even first. We'll be back in just a few seconds with a second. Don't go anywhere. Back here at center ice for the start of the second period. Some 
Good solid U13 hockey there in the first. Nothing too out of the ordinary aside the jump up block we saw where both feet left the, the ground like a basketball player or something. Cut out front, Aiden Ganesh trying to shoot that one on. Now battle away front and that one somehow stays out. A nice rebound. And I wonder if they listened to me there on the bench said shooter's first mentality for Andy Ganesh this period. The problem with Andy Ganesh, the first four periods of their tournament was really good play overall. But just the scoring touch has been against them, it seems. Covered up. We saw Dartmouth just hang on against them yesterday in a full barn here at home. Wait for it down here, just 35 seconds here into the second frame. Trying to win that back, it's over under the right side instead. Dally circling around the boards, looking for an outlet pass, that one through the middle, cut off easily there in the zone by McMullen. McMullen then skating that thing all the way down into the corner. Dally then picking up on it again, bouncing off sticks back there. That's gonna wrap in around by Boyle. Boyle with a hard shot. Keeping it in the zone, holding that line nicely. Like I said, a specialty here for these Bulldogs. Keeping it in the offensive zone. They've started to get into that rhythm here a little bit as that first period wore on. Breen now working it down the left side. Back in behind again for Boyle. Boyle first to the puck. Play that in behind. That ricocheted off the boards, hustled after, backhanded around, a little touch pass. Trying to cleanly get it out. That one, they're gonna deem into the bench. It was a close one. I think it might have hit the backup goaltender for tonight for Andy Ganesh. I believe it's a call up they have, is what I heard. So it seems like Lombard Kett will play all three round robin games if the start of this one was any indication. Lead forward and back to the line. That one's circled on. Stick gets caught in the boards. Unfortunate time there for young Alex McDonald. Now left side trying for that lead pass. It'll come on out. Circling back in the zone. Valley turned over as Andy Ganesh hold the line there. I was going to say ring out line, but there actually isn't any ring out lines in this ring. That's usually a pretty easy way to kind of talk about a spot on the ice. Most rinks have that ring out line. I guess none here. Back to the Valley defender, cut off nicely. That's what I'm talking about. Just taking advantage and a kick shot there on the low side. Try to steer in front. And the play by Andy Murray goes by the wayside there, falling back into center. Cut off and flip back ahead. Falling down to the zone now, left side. Lead pass back in. That will be sent for an icing 12, 23 to go here in the second period. We buzzed right through that first play period. Six twenty-seven. Atlantic daylight time. We just put the clocks back last year. Or last year, last week, the start. Went back in the other way. Picked up now. Down to the left hand corner. Gonna try to take the short way around instead of firing that along the boards. It's contested now. Cutting in and a good job pulling into that one was Jones. And now the arms up. And the Andy Ganesh player down, and it looks like they'll have a power play coming. Haven't seen too many of those in this game. And it will be as they head off to the box. That's a good opportunity here for the Bulldogs. Holman sitting in there. We'll sit for two. Drop down right side, chip to the line. Dished across left side. Just out of the reach of Chisholm. Chisholm then just goes for a low shot. That's going to bounce in behind. 
Back to the line. Murray handed off. Mark Stewart shot. Eric trying to get in front of that one. Murray cuts it off nicely. Stepping in, shot. That one locked with a shin pad. Trying to will that one into the back of the net. It's punched back. It's dead. Now, free out to the right side for a second. No one there to pick it up. In front, left side. Off a shin pad, rebound. And a good push there by the D-man Chisholm. Back to Murray on the line. Murray across. Now towards the middle, looking for that little short pass. Spun back around, stopped up. Right side now, Stewart. Back to Murray. Murray shot, blocked. 55 seconds left to go in the power play. Down low, chipped to front, still free in front. And another one goes, but it won't fall in the back of the net. Up the left side, gonna have to skate after it. Valley looks to have it, and a nice hard slap to clear there. That was number 77, Eric Hanley. Assistant captain out there. Held on behind the net. Bulldogs surveying. Hard pass to the middle, touched on. Now they'll pick it up in stride down the right side, spun around into the neutral zone. Now brought on. Drop pass there. Picked up by Boyle. Boyle tries to fire it on. It'll be stopped before it can reach. And now it'll head back the other way. Eight seconds to go on the power play. And that will do it for that man advantage. So nothing doing there for the Bulldogs, but continuing the offensive pressure. Back to even strength, hand it off left side. We'll try to cut in and put it around. It'll be held in behind, fired along the end wall. Now looking for the lead pass, onto the stick there. Captain Fleming, and that'll be offside. So we'll have a whistle here, 9.42, just inside 10 minutes on the second period. Thank you for tuning in here on High Button Sports as the action continues, and boy, does it not stop tomorrow. We'll be right back at it. Tomorrow we'll be going at 9 a.m. between Acadia and Dartmouth. So this exact same Valley team will be playing against Dartmouth tomorrow. Dartmouth shot, that one saved, and a big save there in net. Got the glove on it. Now worked over, but yes, the Dartmouth side, who is now one and one after losing to Bedford today, will be taking on Acadia, and now a whistle, and they're gonna say hand pass. So, to start us off tomorrow, like I said, Acadia Dartmouth, and we're gonna go into Eastern Shore versus Picto, then Tassa Shabukto, Andy Ganesh Bedford, and then to finish us off, will be the skills competition, so that'll be exciting. All broadcasted here on High Button Sports exclusively. Into the right side, trying to trip that up the wall. It'll exit the zone back to the blue line. Lead pass, stopped on. Trying to work it ahead, back to the line. Valley surveying up the wall, chipped off the stick. That'll be knocked back to Chisholm, and Chisholm will try to play that in ahead. Picked up by Black. Back in through center, they're gonna gain the red line, shoot it down to avoid the icing, but it'll be cut off before it can get there. Chipped off the left side, now Coleman. Coleman bringing it in. Pushed off along the wall, and now penalty coming. And sl slashing. And Valley to the box. Andy Ganesh, chuck the stick in. Andy Ganesh, another power player trying to tie this thing up. The one early goal, the difference. It's been stagnant since then. Billy Pepper's on in the background. I feel like if anyone listened to all the majority of the games this weekend, you'll know my favorite band and my favorite hockey team because of the references I can't help myself from. Speaking of that big win for the Oilers last night, that one kicked out in front. Now on the right side. The real question is, do we have what it takes to win the cup? 
I won't speak on it as a fan. That'll be up to the rest of society, I suppose. Down the left side, we'll cut in. Down and behind, they're going for the wraparound. Andy Ganesh surveying on the stick in front, trying to muscle that one towards the net. It'll be back to the line there. Murray shoots it in. Andy Murray with a strong game on D here so far. He stuck out to me. Now we're back in front, trying to go for the wraparound shot in front, and another rebound. And it still feels like that force field's in front of the net here for Andy Ganesh. Sent in behind. Cutting out in front. And yeah, that'll be knocked off. Pinched in along the end boards there. Right side, still here on the power play, 44 seconds to go. 7-12 left to go in the second as we buzz right through this final game of the day. Back to the line, nice lead pass over there, picked up by Merrick Stewart. Merrick Stewart shot, high one there, knocked down. Played back in behind, cut off, and now tangled up there in the middle. They're gonna deem it coincidental, nothing will come of it. Back to the line now. McDonald, helping hold, right side shot, low one steered away there by Innes. Back in through the middle. That one squirts out in behind. McDonald grabbing up the left side into the skates, trying to keep it ahead. Eight seconds left to go on the power play. Andy Ganesh moving that puck north. Held on to, low shot. Pushed off into the corner nicely by Innes. Good tracking there, trying to step in front, holding that post. We're back to even strength now. Held up a bit behind the net, Valley. Now backhands it out through center. It'll be a foot race for it. Bentley tried for it. Now it'll be a two on one the other way. Acadia go around and stop in the tracks and saving a play there. And he get his defender. I gotta get a number there. I believe it was McDonald. Into the left side. Kerrigan tries to hand that off. It'll be shot back in the zone there. Valley now looking to get some offensive zone time after killing off a couple penalties here. Still haven't gotten through the Bulldogs. Down one. Right side. Tried to pull that in front. Will be knocked off into the corner. Stop up play there on the far side. Now back in behind the net. Pushed out of there. Back to the line, wind up shot, tipped off the stick and Innes tracked that all the way in and perfectly pushed it into the corner now. Lobbed in above the head, but Mark St Merrick Stewart making the play. You say Mark Stewart, a former player on the Oilers. That went into the skates, Merrick Stewart. Now sent back around left side, looking for the outlet, gonna hold on. Shot, catches the stick and now good foot race for it down here in front, trying for the breakaway, spun out and the arm goes up and they're gonna get him. Valley put back, and that was a hooking. Some of the fans didn't like it, but it looked like a little, a little, definitely a little bit of a hook in there. It wasn't a full-on can opener, but it was some sort of pull motion there. 4.48 to go as Greenboro will head off. Greeno. No B in there, not a mistake. In there on the left side, face off dropped. One back, trying to feed that out in front, gonna hold on, back on, shot on, they score! So Andy Ganesh finally breaks through. None other than Merrick Stewart putting that one home. And they could have done the, uh, they could have done the Ehler Selly there where they pull the monkey off the back because it's been one nothing here for about 20 minutes and despite the good chances they haven't put it in until now and now it'll be 1-1. One, one. Four forty left to go in the second. This game's been pretty good. I mean I wouldn't say it's the most intense game I've ever seen in my life, but well contested by both sides. Left side trying to get that in through center. That one's gonna be poked in down the wing. Trying to backhand that around, bounces off the stick. Pulled back to the blue line. Valley trying to keep it in, pushing it out. 1-1 one, one the score. Pulled back, handed off. Going into 
the zone there. Battle against the boards. Andrew Jones with the assist along with Murray. So full team effort there on the power play. Didn't take very long. Right side shot trying to go five hole. Pushed into the corner. A good little shot in there by McQuarrie. Pulled back and dished off to the left side. And Ganesh holding his own again, fanned on that one. Now another shot in, that one wide. Nolan Brown trying to fight for it on the corner. It's plucked out there. Nolan Breen. Nolan Breen through center. Good goal score here on the Valley side, and he'll go down, and the arm will go up. So now it'll be a penalty coming against Andy Ganesh. It'll go back the other way, touched up. And let's see what the official call is. I mean, that could have been a couple ones hooking there. So the Axemen will head to the power play now. 3.25 to go, and I haven't spoken about too much this weekend, but I will say that I always like to bring up the point that when you've got that intermission after the second, you can have a chance. If you score late, that can only change the tide of the game heading into the third, because you can play a little more defensive. If you go in with a tie, the game plans are totally different. So a big power play here with 3.24 left to go in the second. Valley trying to get that lead back. They held on to it for many minutes through the middle of this game. Picked up now in stride though. Stewart looking for a second. Backhanded on, and that one will go in. Stewart slides it by Innes on one where he thought he had it in between the legs, but it slid in behind on a shorthanded marker. So a power play and a shorthanded goal, I believe, for that young man. And it'll be 2 1 Bulldogs just like that. What do they tell us when we're kids playing hockey? Pucks on net, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. And that one, a perfect encapsulation of that quote. Back of the zone now, left side. And Andy, I guess I was just talking about you going into the third period, tied or down goal. And right now, Valley. 1.30 left to go on the power play. Would love to try to bring this one back even with 2.46 left to go in the second. Okay. This game pretty well played. I've said it a couple times. Just some good clean hockey out there. Left side, try to lead that ahead. Valley in through the zone, kind of hauled down. Back over to the right side. Held on to now, shot. That one's going to be pushed into the corner. Picked up now, trying to cut out front. Low one, that one, about two feet to the right of the right post. Tried to flick in front. Grabbed and swung back around. Into the left side. In along the boards, that one pulled out towards the middle. Handed off, right side to the stick. Low shot, tipped in behind. Now grabbed left side and working pretty well here. Keeping it tight to the net. Got to get some shots on here. 30 seconds left in the power play and that one shot just wide. Back into the corner and tried to catch up to that one with Strum. Other side and a good hard clear there. It sent the length of the ice in. Stewart out there once again. Have yourself a game, young man. Six seconds left here in the penalty. One. 30 left to go in the period. That one will be worked in down the left side. Penalty over. Valley still in the offensive end. Down one now. Acadia shot on. Puck bounces in behind. Picked up in stride by Chisholm. Chisholm will then elect to shoot it down. And it'll be an icing here with a 105 left to go in the second. And they'll head back out. They really have not had a lot of whistles here. This one. It's been pretty fluid. Back in through the middle. Try to play that back to line. It's chipped in. That's going to catch some bodies on the way in. Off the shot from the point. Get that one in behind. Less than a minute to play. Greenboro, the D-man down low, trying to push the pace here a bit. 45 seconds, and Andy Ganesh 
remain up one as that's covered up. Remember, we'll have a 10 minute break in between the second and third, and then you can head over back over to the stream. And we'll be back with the 15 minute third period, our final period of the night. So, eight games almost in the books here in Antigonish. We'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. You'll hear this exact same voice on the call. Down the right side, picked in the corner, trying to play that out through the legs, won't get there. Pushed off in the corner, good battle there between Fleming and McDonald. McDonald's had himself a good defensive game here so far. 28 seconds to go. In behind, right side, trying to shoot it out. Sent down the length of the ice, 21 seconds. Pull back in the other way. Now, they must have listened to my streams, because yesterday we had the Chili Peppers once. Today it's been like four or five times, so shout out down there. The support for this tournament has been absolutely unreal on our YouTube. I just want to thank you again. That one's sent in, covered up. If you're here, check it out. Stick around and maybe take the intermission to go check out some of our other stuff. We've got fantastic content here on the High Button channel. Lots of mic'd up. the podcast with over 440 episodes. Video format for about the last 200 of them. Interviews with Nathan McKinnon, Jonathan Torres. That one shot in. And with nine seconds, lifted over the shoulder there on the Valley side. And a big goal to make it 3-1 here near the end. And that was scored by Andrew Jones. And Innie's kind of caught off guard by that one. Maybe I was too up here in the booth as that was just right off the face off, perfectly lifted over the shoulder, finds the back of the net. And in the past three minutes, Andy Ganesh made some statements. Down the left side now. Back in, Van de Wheel, and I just think I heard one of the coaches here maybe talk about next period and already strategizing, heading back to the locker room, and that'll be the end of this one. Second period over, so we'll head here for a 10 minute break. We'll be back with third 3 1 Bulldogs after two late goals, changing the complexity of this game. We'll be back soon. Don't go anywhere.
Warburton here on the call, and we are set to go. Puck drop officially done, and we are off to the races here. So, decides what we thought would maybe be a 1-1 game heading in to the third period. Actually turned into a 3-1 game, and now going to work there, and it looks like a goalie change taking place there for Valley. Aaron Meaden now in there. So the three goals, I suppose, is enough. And see that one every day. Shout out to the young innies, though. I mean, fantastic that he's even here at Provincials. I mean, what a memory for that young man to be at the U13 AAA Provincials at his age. But we got a game to get back to. That puck in behind. We'll stop a play left side. Oh, and the stick was caught in the net there for Valley. Almost came back to bite them. That one fluttered over to the right side. Trying to pick that up off the wall. It's sent into the offensive zone. Down low for Stewart. Stewart's had a heck of a game here. Trying to continue it here into the third. And I was saying it was a 1-1 game. That's kind of what we thought. The, the how do I say this? Uh, the the way a third period is played when it's 1-1 is obviously much different than when you're leading 3-1, so I'm curious to see if that'll change Andy Ganesh's style. They have had a very good defense this whole weekend, so they could probably rely on that. That one's sent in, it's a stick and wide. They could probably rely on that, but if not, might have to have the forwards come back and help. We assume it'll be a full court press here. Through the Acadia side, that one worked up the right. Cut off on the wall. Back in there, that one onto the stick of Ringette. Ringette chipped in ahead, that one to the other side. It'll be kept in. And along the end words, Valley holding. Nice shot in there. High and just over the right side. A good opportunity here early for Valley. Sent in low off the left side. Picked up off the hop. There, DeYoung. DeYoung tried to play it out. Now grabbed in towards the middle. Picked up by Sam Murray. Alley now spun back the other way. Down the right side, Fleming. Fleming gains center. We'll shoot it down. No icing. Two minutes gone here in the final period. That one a nice stretch pass up the right side. McQuarry. They caught up to him, but nonetheless, the solid defense continues here for Andy Ganesh. Back in the opposite end. Hustled down, it'll be whistled dead. 2.54 to go here in the third. We'll head back the other way. Bulldogs gonna get their first win here. Left side. Puck drop, oh wait. Getting the word there, McQuarrie giving it back to his D-man Chisholm. Back in the middle, McQuarrie. Spun back around left side. That one's gonna enter the zone. Stick handling, held back. Tried to chop at that. It's freed up to the right side. Wind up shot. That one covered up. There's some good pressure here to start the third on the new goaltender. Test the mode a little bit. It's needed in the net there for Valley. The offensive juice is rolling here, trying to get two goals here. Hanley here on the right side. Andy Ganesh finally broke through at the end of that second with two quick ones after fighting for it all weekend long. Valley, one of the top teams all year long, trying to show what they're made of. That one down the right side, looking for the quick shot. There it hits the side of the net when we played in behind and collision down low. Valley comes out with it. Fleming, Fleming down low, chip back. It'll jump over a couple sticks. Back in the zone now. Hustled after, caught up to by Force. Force in behind, turns it over. And he's gonna try to flip across and a good play there. Nolan Breen potentially stopping a goal. They had two Andy Ganesh players down low there. Tried to get it by on the other side. Now Breen, he gets hauled down. He'll pick himself back up and work it into the corner. What a play for this young man. And then he gets it back to the line. High shot. Tipped in behind. Puck's still alive. Goalie's gone to the bench. It's a six on five extra attacker situation. Valley circling here. Force down the right side. Pulling back with it. 
McCaw, McGraw, plays a little left side shot. That one tipped in high. Will Andy Ganesh finally touch it? Oh, a stick lift there. Will that change anything? No, it'll still just be the one tripping on Andy Ganesh, so the extended time with the man advantage won't lead to anything, but still a power play here, down two. It'd be big to put one in here. 11, 18 left to go here in the third. If you get one now, then you've got plenty of time to try to tie this thing up, but it all starts with one. And a little confusion. Time out called, okay. So a big point in the game here. The Valley coach. All in a time out there. Greeno. And you see, giving the word to his players down there. And I think he realizes that a quick one here would definitely help things. Seconds left to go on that. Pull it back, go and head into the offensive zone here. So, Katie with a fresh game plan drawn up, trying to cut this deficit down to one here with 11 18 here in the third. One back to the line, drop pass there. Hold in, stepping up for the shot and a nice glove save. Start it off. Murray for tripping at 11-18. That's Andy Murray, the D-man. That one steered aside by Mom Burkett. Now with the left side, exiting back into the zone, 11 minutes to go. 15 seconds, killed off the penalty. Acadia surveying. Nice little drop off play there. Haven't seen that too much this weekend. Picked up, that must have been from the drawn up play down the right side. Green. Pinched in along the boards. Chisholm, Green. Back over, Green grabbing. Hands off the left side. Trying to wind that up, right side shot. Glove save there, Bob Burkett got over. And a nice clean look there for number 18, Trip Greeno. Back to his middle, trying to hustle that out. It's kept in now, pushed down the right side. Good wheels here, trying to cut it off and a nice diving play and it'll be covered up and perfectly executed there by Valley. And a little stick tap, it's number 15, Morgan Fleming. Or no, it was number 35, my mistake. Jeremy Wilson, as he dove back, gave it right to his goalie and they were able to Get it done there, cover it up. One minute left to go here in the power play. That one bouncing off the wall. They're gonna head back for it. Picked up in the ref's skates there. Back down low, right side to the line. Shot, that one trickles out to the corner. Trying to get it out, kept in the zone there. Wilson, Wilson shot on low. Now picked up, slot shot. That one saved, rebound out, and a big save there in net. Good job covering, 31 seconds. That one's gonna split the D, head back the other way. And then they're gonna get a full skill change coach instantly here on the Valley side. So get some fresh legs out there. Worked over to Hanley, right side. Hanley holds. He'll cut in onside, drop off, right side, Coleman. Coleman, backhand it back over. Covered up by Mom Burkett. Just want to take a moment to point out the coach here of Andy Ganesh, Dave Stewart's daughter, Mariah Stewart, the goalie for the Cape Breton West Islanders, one of the top teams in the province in terms of toughness to make and skill level in that league. She actually led, that one sent in, she actually helped lead the 
Team Nova Scotia girls team for that silver medal that I'm sure all of us in the chat are proud of and here I am as well. I actually got to do some of games for them. Right before Christmas, they took on Dalhousie and SMU in some exhibition game matchups, and I got to commentate it. They hired High Button to come in and do it. My pleasure, obviously. And it was some good action. Really kept up the university team girls there, SMU and Dalhousie. And then they went and delivered on the national scale. So just a quick shout out to Dave and Raya there. And we'll continue back to the action here. Nine minutes to go. That one sent in off the post. Ref emphatically says, and a body check there on the boards. The arm didn't go up, but the player down. And I'm not sure how that was missed. But the player's down all the wall. That looked a bit textbook, but it's the end of the power play there. And the player down here at High Button Sports, we of course do not show the injury, so. We're just going to let the coach head out and I'm going to mute here and I'll be back here in a moment when we got an update. All right, it looks like the player there up under his own power and partially under his own power. He'll be skating off with his teammate, but we need the coaches to help out, thankfully. That was a tough one into the boards, and we'll see if he'll stay on the bench. So thankfully there, Coleman, I'm going to try to shake it off. He'll head back over, and we'll be set to go here again. 8.53 left to go in the third. Home stretch here for the day at the Andy Guinness Arena. Down to behind, puck wrapped around the right side. Andy Guinness trying to pull out a victory here on day two of the hosted Provincials. Down the left side, has some open room and fires that one just wide over the right side. And now trying to kick at it. James Boyle, it'll come back the other way. Shot on, steered aside. Good coverage there for the forwards, and I think that's what makes Andy get it. Such a good defensive team when their defense do make that rare mistake. They had two forwards back to help. Sent it behind, bouncing over. Meeting going to play that. Hand it off now, up the right side. Back in behind, trying to chip in front. It'll be sent back. Over into the corner. Up the wall now, back out just offside and it'll be touched up, so it'll be whistled down. No penalties on the boards here. 7.55 to go here in the third. Coleman still trying to shake that one off. And down the right side, trying to Push that into the offensive zone, it'll be pulled back. Jeremy Wilson. Wilson backhands it up the wall, trying to chip it down. Cut off there, sent back in. And now, down the opposite way, Valley needs one here. Try to cut this deficit down to one. The, more, the quicker they can score and cut it down, the more time they have to work with once we near the end of the game as we approach it. The time ticks away. Hauled down there, and now Andy Ganesh will head to the box. As Green, with a high effort play, causes the penalty, and it'll be a power play here. 7-19 in Valley. Suddenly, have a chance here. Pretty good game here by both sides. Right now, the difference was those two goals late in the period there in the second. Halfway through the third. 
Drop back. Sauce pass over, pressured, but they're going to get it down the right side. Hold it back to the line. Pearl. He'll hand it over. Methodically looking. Shot down off the shin pad. Here, McQuarrie in behind again, though. Trying to push him off. It's sent back around. Pushed up in the wall, trying for the stick lift. they bat at it. Now pull back in the zone, turned over, trying to chip to themselves. Back in the zone, slap shot. Cleared out there, so first 45 seconds of the power play, not much going yet. Here for Acadia. Nice pass towards the middle. Fleming falls down and then it's pulled back. To the line. Left side entry. Shot on. That one hit off the glove. Still alive. Trying to feed it in front for a quick one time, but couldn't get it there. It was knocked off by the captain. Now over to the left side. Fielded. Shot high. That went in behind. And again, it's trying to hold on here. Six minutes left to go here in the third. Pulling back. Back over. Wind up. That one locked with the gloves. And a proper block there. And now a race for it the other way. But a proper block there with the gloves, I believe, by Chisholm as he looks like he's been taught how to block. Oh, a hook there in on the jersey. And yeah, that one's pretty clear cut. That one was right into the ribs of Andy Murray. And Andy Murray will head off and he'll have to take a sec. You can kind of see right in front of us just the yank on the jersey there. And that'll negate the last 20 seconds of that other penalty. And give a chance here to Andy Ganesh. And they're going to kill valuable time off the clock here with this two minute power play. Unless they can get scored on shorthanded. I mean, man, we've seen everything this tournament. Anything's possible. I'm not counting nothing out. Chisholm handed off. Receives it back. Left side. Skeeting down the ice. Brought on side. Chisholm into the corner, drop back. That one's turned over and set down the length of the ice by Strum and it'll be officially power play here for Andy Ganesh. 138 left to go in it. Hand it off to the left side. Good pressure there, but Brown able to get it out. Entering the zone, he'll pull back. Held on to, now swinging around the right side. Shot in, steered away. Forcing it down again, but knocked back. That one gonna come split the defense. That can't hand it off right side. Gain center. Still on the power play, just on side, left side, lots of room. Shot, glove save, rebound in front. It was kicked away. And a beautiful play there by Rowan Black to save a goal. A fantastic shot by Jones on the left side. Black stopped the rebound. Now back into the blue lights, tipped in, and that one wide on the left side. Picked up by the captain, Chisholm. Chisholm played it down low. Reached over right side, low shot. That one's going to be covered up there by Meaden. Looks like Murray back out there, so good for young Andy Murray as he took that stick to the chest. Seemed to be all right, skating around out there. 36 seconds left to go in the power play. 4.15 left to go in the third. 3-1 lead here for Andy Ganesh. They scored those two late ones in the second. That has been the difference here so far. I said it changes the way you play a third period if you're up two goals. So far, I think that kind of reigns true, in my unbiased opinion, I promise. Back in behind for McDonald. Back into the, into the middle, chipped off to the right side, trying to enter. Valley, a nice play there. Back to the line. Great penalty killing by Valley here. Late, 3.48 to go in the third. Nine seconds to go in the power play. Pushed into the boards, but fished out by the Bulldogs. They'll cut in through center now. Hands that off. That'll miss the stick. Sent back in the other way. Force with it down low. And end of the power play there. Try to bring it into the offensive zone. Drop pack. Stopped at center. Tied up in the neutral zone. Now down the right. Shot on. It'll be cautiously covered up by Marmarquette, the goaltender. 316 to go. Even strength. Okay, so 
Two goals needed here. To the line, Pearl. Sent around, three away to go here in the third. Kept in the zone, and a little slash there on the wrist, not going to get it. That one slapped down in the zone, is canceled. No chance in front, and a kick save there. Marber kept with his best in the game. Now in between the legs, touched up. Andy Ginnis gets there first. They're going to shoot it for the empty cage, and they're just going to miss wide. So. The 247, the Patty Wall pull here for Coach Nick Greeno with almost three minutes to go down two. They got the man out and I didn't even realize, it wasn't even on my radar, they would pull that early, but I suppose it makes sense here. Down two, you need one. Like I said, the less time it takes to score that second goal, the more time you have to try to get that third one, but they're still working for the second. Aganish trying to hang on and get their first win at home here in the Provincials. Greeno, shot on. Back over to the left side, kept in the zone. That's going to fall back down into the right corner. Intense battle down there. Valley played it behind nicely, picked up. Try to chip in front, it's through the legs, and is it covered? Somehow it stays out. That one looked, it looked like it was as good as in. Like that goal we saw earlier where it wrapped in off the board. That, I think that, I think that was, yeah, it was this exact same game. Innies had that one happen to him earlier. And I thought we saw it again, Eric. To make this a one goal deficit, no siree, 2.23 to go. Still a two goal lead for Andy Ganesh. Right side, Greeno, shot, low rebound in front, bounces off to the wrong side. Gonna go for the empty cage, and they score. And that'll be 4 1, and the Bulldogs closing in on victory here. After another solid game here at home, they're gonna be 1 and 1. That was number seven, Andrew Jones, 4-1 the score here, 2.13 to go. We'll head back to center. So now, it sets the stage for tomorrow, in which Andy Ganesh and Bedford will play the last official game of the day at three o'clock. Bedford 2 0. Aganish looking to go 1 and 2, or 2 and 1. That one worked over. A lot of the young Aganish fans here rolling in, ready to greet their team as they come off the ice with excitement. Closing in here, 149 to go. Valley sent up the middle, hits the stick, and now lead pass left side. Brought in, just on. Valley not going to give up, shot in, glove save, and Von Burkett continues his big third period. 1.35 to go, 4 1 the score. As we approach the end here, I want to say one final thank you for tuning in here on High Button Sports. It's been a real fun day here. Awesome day of hockey, back to back. It becomes really easy to commentate when the kids are this good, I'll tell you that much. Does not feel like a job or anything. It feels like my pleasure to be here. Down on the left side, gonna shoot that on. It gets knocked off the wall. Marbaquette pushes that aside. It'll be whistled down despite it being a little loose there on the back net. They're just gonna blow it dead instead. One last shout out to the Chili Peppers to finish off the night. I feel like at this point I'm obligated to. Maybe I'll stop that for tomorrow after they play them like five different times today. Set down the opposite end. That one's gonna go for the icing. We'll have another whistle, 113 to go. Heading back the other way. Peace up, coming up here. 73 seconds remaining. Goalie's gonna stay in the cage there for Valley. 
We're going to stop the bleed. Uh, going to be glitched ahead. It's going to try to stop the bleeding, and now it's put through the five hole and stays out somehow. Andrew Jones with a nice little effort there at the end. Down the right side now. Into the offensive zone they come. Pushed off on the corner. Picked up, hustled it out. A nice little speed boost here by Sam Murray. He'll pull off. Back into the neutral zone, 40 seconds to go. Hand it off to the boards, off the glass. Into the skates, 30 seconds, and they're gonna send that one down. Touched up, it'll stay. No icing because there's seven Andrew Jones down there. Once again, he's keeping this thing going, 20 seconds. Back to center, DDD pass. Picked up by Chisholm and the let's go Bulldog chance. Rain down. <laughs> and that one's trying to play in front. Six seconds to go. That'll come back. Shot in one final time by Chisholm and a big win here for the Bulldogs. And a celebration from the fans and the team. Heading off and exciting there. Great to get a win today and a big one against Valley. We'll go head-to-head -head with Bedford in our final game of the day tomorrow. Like I said, at three before the skills competition. We'll head in here to center. You can see the young guns here in front of me, ready to greet their team. Singing a little Jay-Z while they wait the MVPs and then we'll sign off for one last time here at High Button Sports for the night. The coaches give a wave to each other, a hard fought game. Valley played pretty well but kind of came down to those two goals late in the second. That was the difference. And we'll await the MVPs. So number nine, Brandon Kerrigan getting it for the Valley. Well deserved. He'll go up and collect the MVP. Get the stick taps from the team and Valley will head off. And on the other side, number four, Merrick Stewart. And we talked about it all game long. What a fantastic game by that young man, Merrick. Goal and he'll get a big celebration in the picture. What a nice shot that is. And now we'll get this final one of them heading off with their fans. And we'll go out on that note. So thank you for tuning in here on High Button Sports. We appreciate another day of action. My name's Jeff Warburton. Like I said, pleasure to bring it to you.